Hi guys, welcome to my Mexico City vlog. I'm so excited to share with you this stunning city and share with you everything that we did. So let's get into day one. To start our morning, we got some coffee at Bella Minata. I might be totally saying that name wrong, so I'll be sure to put it in the bottom corner for you guys. Then, after we got our coffee, we made our way to our breakfast location. This place was so stunning. It's an indoor-outdoor seating area. It's just a great way to kick off your morning. It's also insanely vegan-friendly, and there's so many options for everyone. I got a fruit smoothie, which is pictured here, and then my girlfriend's got some delicious toast. We stayed in La Condesa, kind of in the Roma Norte area, which is the place where most people stay when they travel to Mexico City. This area is completely walkable and very safe, so after breakfast we made our way to Parque España. It's incredibly green, it looks like a jungle in the middle of the city, and it's also insanely dog friendly. This entire city is dog friendly, you will see dog walkers on every street corner. And not only is this city insanely dog friendly, it's also insanely bike friendly. Everywhere we went, people were biking around town. So if you like cycling, this is the city for you. And we finally made our way to Chapultepec Park and Castle. There's a small entrance fee for this place, but it's completely worth it. It's stunning to see. There is an amazing lookout location on the back of the castle overlooking the park and of Mexico City. After walking in the park, we were so hungry, so we made our way to a vegan restaurant. I will put the name down below. I didn't get a ton of content, but it was pretty good. And after lunch, we made our way back home for a little siesta before dinner. For dinner, we went to a place called Ugo. It's a tapa-styled restaurant. It's a very quaint restaurant, but perfect for sharing plates and having an intimate night. We spent the early morning at Wu Cafe. It's a super close cafe to our Airbnb. It was very simple, minimal. My friend got a matcha and an amazing chocolate croissant. We went here a few times throughout our trip. Our first Airbnb experience of this trip was a walking tour of the center and of the historic aspects of Mexico City. Our tour guide was phenomenal. She was so knowledgeable about the history. She spoke English really well and made us feel super comfortable throughout the entire trip. We made our way down the main shopping avenue in Mexico City, which was great to see. There were so many historic spots, which I put some pictures up for you guys. This was the moment I was waiting for. I was so excited to see this stunning post office. Yes, this is a post office, guys. Take it all in. Then we walked our way past Bella Artes and through the park, and there were these stunning purple trees that I could not get enough of. They are blooming throughout Mexico City during the time we were there. We decided to take our tour guide out to lunch with us. We went to this taco place in the middle of the city. She had this amazing watermelon drink, and I tried cactus for the very first time. Just before dinner, we were strolling through Roma Norte and came across some stunning boutiques. This store had a collaboration of so many different Mexico City artists and creators. I found this really cool black purse, but I couldn't decide to get it or not, so I ended up not buying it. Might have been a mistake. What do you guys think? I am so excited to talk about Rosetta. Guys, this is a must eat. It was my favorite place the entire time we were in Mexico City. Hi, it's us. Here's a glimpse inside of the menu. You cannot go wrong with any dish, guys. It was absolutely phenomenal. I highly recommend you guys to get this sourdough bread. There is a little treat in the butter. Let me know down below if you guys can guess what's in it. Here's a glimpse of some of the dishes that we had for dinner. It looks like some soup, some pasta, and some meat. But the desserts were so freaking good. Mine was the best. I got the one with avocado. And then after dessert, we went upstairs for a cocktail hour. I inserted some pictures because it was a little bit dark. This was the best way to digest our dinner, but also kick off the evening. Since we were traveling in a group, we allowed each person to plan one day throughout the trip so they could do everything that they wanted to do and the whole day was planned so it was super easy and fun to do. So this was my day and we kicked off the morning going to Boo Cafe. I was so excited to go here. 
I got an almond milk latte and some killer avocado tomato toast. There was also a mariachi band playing, so it's just some fun live music in the background. My friend got a matcha, a pastry, and some avocado toast as well. She said everything was absolutely amazing, so I highly recommend you go to this cafe, guys. And after this cafe, we went to Panaria Rosetta, and it was a cafe my friend really wanted to go to, so I let her go even though it was my day. They actually make their lattes and coffee drinks in cocktail shakers, which is super interesting to watch. This is also a great spot to people watch. There's dogs around. Oh, and I wanted to point these out. They are at these hooks at every restaurant. They like to put up your coats and your purses, and it's really convenient so you don't have to like put your stuff on the floor. Is that me pretending to be camera shy? I don't know, but we came across this boutique called 180 shop there's a mix of men and women's clothing shoes purses accessories super cool place to see Caron was a really cool place to try on some unique local pieces it is a little bit pricier but if you're willing to spend the money there's some amazing pieces in here If you've watched some videos on my channel, you know I love curated consignment stores and vintage shops. So we went to a consignment store called Vintage Ho. LOL at the name. This was a super cool store. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything, but maybe you guys will have better luck. Our second Airbnb experience was a churro making class. This was one of the highlights of the trip. It was so fun. We got to meet a few other young individuals. The host was incredibly friendly, knowledgeable, and helpful throughout the entire process, so I definitely recommend this experience. We made the churros together, we made the chocolate together, hot tea, and then at the very end we all enjoyed it together and just kind of sat around a table and connected and chat about all the different things that we've done in Mexico City. After the Airbnb experience, some of the girls went home to relax and I just went to explore Romo Norte a little bit more. I came across this random outside market which was super fun and then I also went back to Parque Mexico just to enjoy some greenery. I snagged us an early dinner reservation at Blanco Colima. The highlight of this restaurant was obviously the ambiance and the service was absolutely impeccable. We also got some fun desserts and I just really enjoyed this place. After dinner, we met up with some of our churro making class friends at this amazing rooftop bar, probably the best view of Mexico City. Please go visit this. It was such a fun place to watch the sunset. On this day, we had to get up super early so we could beat the traffic and get to the pyramids for our tour guide. This was an extremely sunny and hot day, so make sure you bring your sunscreen, but I highly recommend this. It's just a short drive out of Mexico City, very edu educational, and it's so amazing to see all these historic pieces and to understand and listen to all the history behind it. Our guide also took us to a cave, which was super interesting to look. We did some digging, and then after that, we had lunch in this underground restaurant. It was totally off the beaten track, so I cannot tell you like the name of this or where it's at, but I will be sure to tag the Airbnb experience below, so if you want to go on it, you can. For dinner, we went to a random sushi restaurant. It was very good. And then we also went to a speakeasy for drinks afterwards. We went to the Quentin Cafe, which was one of our favorites. We went here a few times throughout our trips. They just have the most amazing matcha, coffee, and endless amounts of pastries. And they have special pastries on certain days throughout the week. A lot of people like to work in the back, but we just like to chit chat and kind of enjoy our mornings there.
This was our architecture day and we just strolled around the neighborhood and came across some really cute shops and cafes and then we made our way to Casa Hilardi. I have been wanting to go to this place for years so I'm super excited that I had the opportunity to go. Make sure you get your tickets in advance. I highly recommend you guys go see this amazing place. The rest of our day was really relaxing. We grabbed some ice cream and just explored the neighborhood. We started our morning at the Quentin Cafe again and then made our way to the Frida Kahlo Museum. You have to get your tickets in advance and you aren't allowed to film on the inside of the museum, but I was able to get some footage on the outside. It was so colorful, green, and just stunning. We toured around the neighborhood a little bit, went into some shops. There are a ton of open air markets here and this would be a great area to get some souvenirs for your family. And there are coconut stands everywhere on the streets. My favorite. For lunch, my friend and I went to Modern Day. It was a beautiful outside sitting area. It was very peaceful. I really love the ambiance of this place. I just got something very simple for lunch, some eggs and a side salad, and my friend got a sandwich and some potatoes. A few of us were creating some churros, so of course we went back into the city and made our way to a churrerita. This place was pretty good, but the best churros are definitely still in Madrid. Mooney is my highly must-visit store. It's full of artwork of local creators. It also has ceramics. I think these are perfect gifts to give yourself or someone else. There are two locations, one in Lima Norte and one in La Codesa. Saratoria was our last dinner of our night in Mexico City. This was a really amazing pasta place. I had a delicious balsamic pear salad and my girlfriends got some creamy pasta for dinner. And that wraps up our Mexico City vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and visit the city soon. Mm -hmm.